Alright. Mechanical Menace. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually just standing there letting him do that. Oh, it wasn't that far off. Get this item before we start the job. Emerald Dragon Eye, 500 coins. Wow. I'm gonna get him on my face now. So he won't get in my way. creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, and that's geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth. Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish <laughs> this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallop. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Cooper name. Fear not, for I am Powlock. A better Cooper. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, those are the creatures I was talking about with the fire breathing that attack, they breathe fire, and they will do some damage to you. Like so, like he tried to do just now. <laughs> Oh, he still has—he has the costume on. He actually has the costume on for cutscenes. But I find Gallant charming. He has a good heart, even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. Hmm. So during like the Binaku cam, the Binaku cam uh, cutscenes and the little dialogue, he has the blue costume on, even though you have changed it. You have a different costume on, but then during the cutscenes, he has, he actually wears the, the costume that you equip with him. That's weird. Two different things. Belly of the Beast. Find the Moat Monster. These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. Cause you're gonna need to break all these boxes for all those coins. So we got some ways to go. All the way up. Jeez. More other uh, just to break. There you go. Up what? To glory. Disconnect. Look <laughs> at the back. Oh, run. Run it down. And then jump. There we go. Perhaps next time I should procure a more lightweight suit of armor. Because <laughs> it's so hot in here. So I have to jump off of this one since this one is stationary. Right. 
very nice. Charge. Yeah. I got my way. Jumping in. Quite a pleasant climb. Aside from the impending monster battle. <laughs> There we go. Made it. Sounds! This dragon is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel. Holy hand grenade, this a robot! Yeah, this monster is a giant machine! So where am I going? Oh. <laughs> I jumped in time. So I was looking around for the blue icon. Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallant Cooper. Gallant, no! <laughs> the way he said it. Gallant, no! <laughs> That did absolutely nothing. And Carmelita is here. So it was a good idea she actually came. Uh oh. He ate Sir Gallif. So now, I think we have to play with Carmelita now. Alright, you tin can with teeth. Let's see what you're really made of. Good thing I have an upgrade. What do I shoot? Oh, there we go. I know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge and use the charge shot to make my blast more powerful. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, shot his eye out. I had a feeling I could shoot those. Uh, there we go, that char shark worked like a charm. Yeah. Shoot his eye out too. Maybe I should turn on auto fire. Yeah, that charge shot works. It was one shot. Another eye out. Oh, almost got hit with the fire. Yes. I think I shot both of them now. Do I get the other one? Ow. 
Look, I was trying to dodge the laser. Uh, this guy got in my way. He really got in my way. Did you see that? Like, when I was trying to make my way towards him, he just, one of those little guys just blew fire at me. I got hit by something. I don't know. 